working on replacing the front CV joints or sides. So this will be found in chapter 8 of the Haynes Repair Manual for the Honda Civic 1996 through 2000 or the CIV 97 through 2001 or Acura Integra 1994 through 2000. They're all very similar. So the project well underway. Took the old one off. It was totally wrecked. shot out the cage and the race broke. The balls fit right in here, didn't it? So that's the old one. This is the new one. I already put it in. And then you got to make sure that the spine on the in the inner uh, CV is all the way in, like this. No gaps underneath. And the way to do that is when you put it in, you just kind of give it a little bat before you sink this outer CV joint into this. And in order to do that, you have to pop that uh, uh, lower control arm, and you need a tool like this to do it. You just wedge it in here, and you give it a couple wraps with a hammer, and it will separate. This didn't need to come off, so that can go right back on where it's supposed to be. Never needed to come off. Okay, this right here where this belongs. It's got to go back on and it's got to go over this and this has to, the shock has to sink into it. So the control arm has to push down. For that I need two hands. you got to hang the brake calipers up out of the way. The rest of the components are here. I'm going to have to go down to the auto store to buy some new brakes. These are getting a little thin. Um, This is the, I'm not sure which side this one is. I took them off. I think that's the inside that's pretty thin compared to what it should be. But there's the uh, actual housing for the brake that they fit in the caliper. Or, or I'm not sure. What is that called? I don't know the proper name for it. I can't remember it. <clears throat> Anyways, it's activated by the piston. And... Uh, and the hydraulics and then that's how the brakes operate this would be the piston up in here hanging so this fork control fork needs to go back on the shock around the uh, CV joint then you put the uh, brake disc back on the hub make sure to grease this up you got to put the new hub nut on right here, and then you want to stake it like it, like the old one was. See that right there, that breaking up, broken out point. That's because they staked it. You punch that in so it catches a piece of this groove right here with a with a punch or a cold chisel, and that should about do it. That keeps the hub nut from loosening up and actually flying off when you're going down the road. So I hope this helps anybody that's working on this kind of project. Just remember the easiest thing after you take the control arm support uh, off and you get that loose then you have to have to pop the ball joint with the ball joint tool in order to swing the hub assembly out enough to get the outer uh, spline and race uh, CV in, otherwise it won't go in properly. So this is all installed and it's just uh, waiting on getting tightened down and you notice I took these nuts off and so now I have to replace that. Trap red, following things up again.